Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Usually every day I start my day off by getting myself an iced Americano from Pick Up Coffee. But before I moved to the Philippines, I actually used to get an iced Americano from a different franchise. And that franchise is called Amazon Coffee. And there's one located in Cubao. And to get there, I'm gonna hop on my motorbike and it's gonna take us about an hour to get there. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is to see if the coffee from Cafe Amazon in the Philippines tastes the same as it does in Thailand. And as I went to Thailand no longer than a month ago, the taste is still fresh in my head. I used to drink Amazon coffee pretty much every day for about two to two and a half years. It was my daily ritual every morning. We would go with Dalla in the 4x4 and get ourselves an Amazon coffee. Sometimes even two, depending on how I felt. To describe the taste of an iced Americano from Cafe Amazon, um, it's extremely bitter and very strong. It's way different to any Starbucks or any pickup coffee that I've tried. To get to this Cafe Amazon in Cubao from BGC, we're gonna have to go along Edsa, and I'm really not looking forward to it. I'm actually dreading it. But anyway, let's go. By the way, just a little size comparison. This is a Yamaha Mio 125, and this is a Suzuki Bergman 125. Look how much bigger and more spacious the Bergman looks in comparison to the Mio. But the Mios are really maneuverable. That was a 30 minute motorbike ride indeed from BGC and I feel drained, absolutely knackered. But we're standing beside Gateway Mall, which is a pretty big mall here in Arenal City. And uh, I think the Amazon Coffee is located diagonally across from Gateway. But Arenal City is another very beautiful, popular area to reside in or live in. There's a lot of restaurants, fast food chains, malls. It's not just Gateway, there's a few malls around here and there's also a little food market that takes place I think during the evening. So Amazon Coffee is located at this intersection where it says Isetan underneath these hot air balloons, miniature hot air balloons slash lanterns that come on at night and make this street look really pretty which we might be able to see in about an hour or two but let's go on over to Amazon Coffee. Man, my throat is dry so I really need a coffee ASAP. I haven't had one all day. One particular thing that I'm looking out for is whether the taste tastes the same here in the Philippines as it does in Thailand. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe they use different coffee beans. But let's see if this is really authentic Thai coffee from Cafe Amazon here in Cubao. From my memory, Cafe Amazons are usually freezing cold and you can see the condensation that's built up from the air conditionings being on full blast in there. That's gone then. That man's having a uh, Thai tea, very popular in Thailand. Hello. Afternoon, sir. Can I get an ice Americano? Ice Americano. Ice black coffee, yeah. Anything else? You don't have any butter sticks? No? Got it. Uh, make me. Oh, yeah, butter bread. Here we go. Dude. This with coffee is a game changer. Are they sweet? You like them? Yeah, yeah. They're really good, right? Yeah. Butter bread. Not available, okay. No worries. How much is that? 
Now the interior aesthetic of a cafe Amazon here in the Philippines looks exactly the same as they do in Thailand. They maintain a uniform aesthetic that uses red brick and green painted walls with artificial plants sometimes adorning them. Cafe Amazons are normally found in PTT petrol stations and they're usually tucked right in the corner in enlarged greenhouse structures where beautifully designed gardens welcome you at the entrance. I'm gonna take a seat beside these artificial plants they have on the wall. <sighs> and wait for my coffee here. Ah. Thank you, man. Do you know how to do the uh, the thing where it goes wraps around? <laughs> ah, okay. Let me teach you. <laughs> In Thailand, they have this sort of uh, thing where they do this for the tissue. Oh, yeah. And then they go. They stand there. Yeah, that's a, the standard thing. Yeah. Oop. Didn't do it. Anyway. Yeah, you can do it. Wow. Just like it. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. 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 Like the one in Bangkok or in Thailand. I don't know. I don't have any expectations. Whoa. It tastes the same. <laughs> it tastes the same. I'm not even joking. This is not an exaggeration. It tastes exactly the same, I think. Well, 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 to my surprise, the iced black coffee or iced Americano, which you get from Cafe Amazon, tastes exactly the same as the one in Thailand. And I was curious to know why that is, and that's because they actually use the same coffee beans. Uh, they import it directly from Thailand, giving it the same standard taste. And honestly, the coffee from Cafe Amazon, every Cafe Amazon that I went to in Thailand has a uniform taste it really doesn't vary at all it's very very consistent which i love um in thailand it's around about 65 thai bar when you convert that to philippine peso i think it's around about 90 to 100 100 pesos but here i think it's 110 115. i'm really chuffed folks if you want to know what ice black coffee tastes like from cafe amazon come to cuba try it out there's a branch that's reopening in BGC in McKinley as well in January. So uh, we should be able to have something closer to my home anyway. Also, if you've never tried Thai tea before, Thai tea is super sweet and super delicious. Um, I was actually hooked on it for quite a while when I first ventured to Thailand. And if you've never been to Thailand and you want to know what Thai tea tastes like, again, try out Cafe Amazon. Hey, look, the street line is starting to come on. Woohoo! But for now, folks, we're gonna head inside Gateway and we're gonna wander around and see what's going down. Oh, hello, Hi. man, how are you? Hey, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Nice Can to meet you. Meet you. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm starstruck. Yeah, I'm starstruck. Somebody recognized me and there's more. Nice to meet you, man. What was your name? My name is Chiti. Chiti? Chiti. Chiki. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Why are you here? Because I'm planning to go to Bee Gees. <laughs> so, <laughs> I fulfilled your wish, huh? That's uh, your Christmas wish done. <laughs> um, I, I came here to try Cafe Amazon, literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to try this coffee. Because uh, every day I used to drink this back in Thailand before I moved to the Philippines. So I wanted to see if uh, it tastes the same and it tastes exactly the same. What, uh, what, 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 what to order? Oh, so what do you like to drink? You like latte? Ice, uh, ice, ice, ice Americano? Is that ice cream? Yeah, ice Americano yeah, slash black that. coffee. Yeah. They might tell you, oh, we don't have ice Americano, but if you ask them for ice black coffee, it's the same. Huh? Yeah. Okay, Chiki, it was nice to meet you. Take care, bye-bye. Okay, I was just about to say, not a lot has changed here in Gateway until I bumped into a subscriber. 
cool, cheeky. Oh, she was so nice. But the one thing that has changed is this Christmas tree that they've got over there that spans, I think, across three floors. And here it is, my lovely people. The Gateway's Christmas tree. Mainly in a red kind of, yeah, I would say red theme. We've got numerous silver, red and gold baubles wrapped around it with red and yellow slash gold LED stars. I really like these little miniature hot air balloons with Santa in them, carrying the parcels. Quite a lot of them actually hung on the tree. And then I think the only other detail which they have on this tree is these sort of white silver flowers. All artificial, obviously. And then there's bigger hot air balloons with candy sticks on the side. I like it. It's nice. It's got a unique feel. Almost forgot to mention the red stars as well. Folks, I've made it back to BGC after a very chaotic and stressful drive from Cuba. Um, yeah, traffic was insane. It always is insane. And apparently it's even crazier because it's a Christmas period. But for now, I'm gonna go inside uptown, cool down a little bit and just see what's going on. Was it worth going all the way to Cuba just to try Cafe Amazon? I think it was. Yeah, I think it is. But uh, hopefully, the one here in BGC in McKinley Hill will be opening in January of 2023. Is that one? Are the camera? Alright, you guys are gonna help have to help us sing along to the song, ready? Yeah. What a bright time is the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's the smell time to go cut in on the horse leg. Giddy up, jingle horse. Well folks, I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. I don't think I've got anything else lined up. I might go for a run, maybe go to the gym or go for a swim. And also, before I wrap up today's video, if you want to see a robotic arm prepare a coffee from scratch, click on the video link at the end of the video. But if you enjoyed today's video of me showing you Cafe Amazon in Cuba, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.